Forest, my 110 1997 Land Rover Defender 2.5 diesel. I've had it for about a year now and there's been a lot of modifications on it. It's 22 years old now, so a little bit raggedy here and there and there's quite a lot of rust out and about. I had to do a lot of uh, welding and modifications and fixing, restoring out and about quite a lot. I fitted it out to be a camper in the back. I haven't got the rooftop tent, just wanted the space on the roof. Uh, so I've got the bed in the back with the storage and uh, full lighting system and only one battery for now, but want to put two in in the future. I like the idea that you can go out in all weather, um, even sideways rain and wind. You just go from the driving seat into the back and the bed's made, you know, you're ready to go, lock the doors, shut the curtains. It's great to be able to go anywhere, sleep anywhere, anytime. It's a really great vehicle. As well as being a camper, obviously it's capable off-road, taking it out and about. Not let me down too much, you know, there's been a few breakages here and there, but generally going strong and very easy to fix. Um, the list of stuff that I've done on it just is growing. <laughs> and uh, But that's all part of the fun, isn't it? Mechanical bits, I like doing that, rolling around on the ground and getting a bit oily. High and low range, middle diff lock, no rear or front lockers yet, but I have just put a compressor in, so could maybe do that in the future. I've been through five sets of wheels and tyres. Uh, I've set on these sort of classic looking white steels, but upgraded from the ones from the factory. Got the snorkel, straight through pipe. A few modifications to the engine, 195,000 miles on the clock. Uh, still going strong. Got the jerry can and the pelly case on top, custom roof rack. Uh, recently cut all the rust out of here and uh, just got some new steering arms on it and a new steering damper as well. So far I've only been to France and Wales and a few local places, some good tracks and trails along the way, a few camping trips and uh, some off-roading adventures, it's been pretty good. So just a couple of visual things on the front, it's got the Heritage Grille, Old Land Rover badge, LEDs, the main headlights are now LEDs as well, it's got an ORE steering guard at the front and the press plates as well to give it that sort of authentic older look. Land Rover's always come with a spare but you know if you mount it on the rear door especially a big one like this it's going to get a bit broken got an ore wheel carrier to mount on the cross member to keep it strong and then a few other bits you know the rear light the high lift jack mounts here that's not on at the moment uh, ladder led upgrades at the back as well press plates again not much on the back but looking nice better than it was when i got it so now we're in the back this is the camping area got the storage here a few hooks some nato ammo holders to put bits and pieces in got the elastic little containers with my books and knives and torches and stuff like that. Uh, the board there is a fold down table for if you want to cook inside. And here's the bed. This is two foam mattresses come down into a full bed here, full smaller double bed, really comfortable, really nice. You've got the lights on here, just working really nicely. And it's a simple sort of camping setup. You get your curtains as well. That just finishes it off and makes it a great place to sleep really. So all in all, a do-it-all, rugged, off-roading, overland vehicle that you can sleep in wherever you want. From day trips down to the beach and off-roading and camping adventures, this thing can do it all. I love it. <laughs>